Welcome, Magic fans. We are back with another Commander Legends Draft Booster box. We have a little bit of daylight left, so we're going to open up this box for you today. See if we hit our market value of $135, according to TCG Player, as of the filming of this video. The last box we opened for fun was an absolute disaster. Chroma's Will at $16 was the most expensive card in the box. So we have to redeem ourselves with this box opening tonight. Uh, we're gonna try to get a, ju a Jeweled Lotus or a Mana Drain or a Vampiric Tutor. Jessica's Will, Commander's Plate, anything like that would be great. Put out my Ultra Pro sorting tray. We'll sort the commons, uncommons, and the rares for you today on the channel. Fix our box. Here we go. Pack number one. Let's see what we can get. Kind of wasting time until Fallout Collector's Box go on sale. Okay, card quality is great. These are not curled or anything super glossy, anything really weird. So we like that. Here are the commons, here are the uncommons. And training center, pretty good rare. Then we have uncommon legendary creatures and common foil. Tokens are not worth anything, but uh, you can make a set of them if you're collecting things. Vow of Duty is the first uncommon. Arshan of the Coordination is a mythic rare, not the best either. Twenty-four packs, twenty cards each. It's what, like four hundred and eighty cards in a box, maybe. Packs are opening up really nice tonight. I like that. Opal Palace. All right, here we. Whoa, okay. Uncommons. Thought Vessel is still pretty good uncommon. We have Staff of Domination is the rare. Another rare. We got Kulfenor, the last you, and a Jessica's Will foil. This is probably a $30 card. I will take one of those. That so far beats the last box all on its own, just that pack. Hopefully I have enough storage on the camera to film this whole box and then I'll post it on YouTube. I'm also going to sell the bulk on eBay. So check out JDJ Sapphire if you want to pick up all the bulk cards from this box. I don't need them. Vault of Champions. All right, that's a pretty good rare. Not quite. Acroma, Vision of Ixidor. Two rares. We got three rares in the pack. Elegith, Crossroads of Augur, and an Uncommon Foil, Patron of the Valiant. And then, yes, Prismatic Piper is a common. Cool. Pretty good box. This is making up for the last box already. Appreciate everybody for watching this box. I'm sorry if you watched the last box opening. Holy smokes, that was just horrendous. Sky Diamond, I like all the licks, the Lindsay look artwork on those, those jewels. And Mindless Automation is the Uncommon, Burning Anger, Pride of Perfection, Dawn Glade Regent, that's a okay rare. Another rare, we got Bell Borka and a Common Foil.
Thirst for knowledge, not ears, night blade, hunter's insight, and profane transfusion. Not uh, the best mythic, but uh, it's a mythic. And elvish, doomsayer, foil. of grace, charcoal diamond foil, so luckily this video should be short with only 24 packs, I'll try to do these quick enough to make shorts out of these 20 card packs. Ingenuity Engine, Volcanic Dragon, Guildless Commons, Rings of Re Bring Hearth, Bright Hearth, whatever. Got that in the last pack. And another Livio. Hmm. Preordain, always good. Rupture Spire. Intangible Virtue is okay. Codex Shredder, not. Undergrowth Stadium is a solid rare. Five, four or five dollars for that one. And... Mm. This box came from a different case because of the... The numbers on the bottom, I can tell this is not, not from the same case as the last box, but it's looking a lot like the last box. You have command Tower, great card. Uh, saboteur, Victimize, Lore Seeker Stone, and Court of Ire. Okay. Uh, foil Kumbaj, which is... JLM Tome, one of our favorite cards in Antiquities. Open the Armory, one of our favorite cards in Commander Legends. Then we have Aura Phoenix, oh, that's a bulk rare. Horizon Stone, that's okay. That's a couple dollars for that rare foil. That helps a little bit to get to the expected value of 135, according to TCG player on this box. About halfway through this box of Commander Legends. Okay, first response, null color, scaled behemoth. And bio waste blob, that is a bulk rare. A lot of bulk rares in this set. Common Dispeller's Capsule. Foil card. Foils in this set were notoriously curled as well, so they don't hold their value like the non foil cards. Um, Explosion of Riches, Confiscate, Kumbaj Witches, and Command Beacon. We got one of those in the last box. Or Muldrak is a, is a Foil Command Tower. The quality of the card stock is pretty good, but I wish the quality of the 
Mythic and the rare pulls was a little bit better in these two boxes. Path of Ancestry. Siren, Storm Tamer, Faith Fetters, Dream Stone, Hedron, Blade Griff. Prototype is the rare. Hull Breacher. This was really good when the first set first came out. It's now just a couple bucks. This is a foil version. Hull Breacher has Flash, it's a Merfolk Pirate. It's a 3-2 for two colorless and a blue. It's great if you're playing Merfolk decks. And then it got banned and the price tanked. But I remember Mer Hull, Hull Breacher was like a $20, $25 card when Commander Legends first came out in 2021. We got Kamal's Will, not the best rare. We got another rare in this pack. We got Nimrus and we got Moss Diamond. Common foil. All right, here we go. Um, so far, we got about nine, ten packs left. Half, more than halfway through this box. Again, no crazy pulls yet. If you're just joining us. check my last Commander Legends box video if you want to see probably the worst box I've ever opened. Three visits is really good. We like that on comment. Flamekin Herald is not so good. Jen Arkham Weaver also not so good. Here we go, here we go. Scholar of the Ages, Return to Dust, not that, that's pretty good. Arcane Signet is always great. Um, Opposition Agent, finally, we get something worth $20. This is pretty good. I think Jessica's Will Foil and Opposition Agent makes about $50 on this box. Then we have nothing else in there. A lot of one and two dollar rares, a lot of two to three dollar mythics. Prophetic Prism, and here we go. Angelic Armaments is the first uncommon. Armorcraft Judge, Not Ears Nightblade, Austere Command. Not in the top ten. Four colorless, two white, choose two, destroy all artifacts, destroy all enchantments, destroy all creatures with converted mana cost three or less, or destroy all creatures with converted mana cost four or greater. Kind of a good card, but not super expensive. And we'll probably get, yep. Anytime we get um, that many cards in the pack, we get a prophetic, uh, the Prismatic Piper, which is just a common legendary creature, shapeshifter. Here we go. Interpret the signs. Make a stand is okay. Cast down and then, oh man, spill in the pack everywhere. Laboratory drudge. Bulk rare, we got raise the alarm and Prismatic Piper. Okay. About five packs to go. Could use one of the top three cards. We could use Jeweled Lotus, Mana Drain, Vampiric Tutor. Vow of Torment, Ordeal of Nylea, Volcanic Torrent, 
body of knowledge, cool looking art, not expensive cards. Murder foil, another prismatic piper. Burnished Heart, I'll play that. And Keeper of the Accord is the rare, bulk rare. Pretty bad pack. Okay, three packs left. We need something pretty good here. Coastline Marauders, Thirst for Knowledge, Sunset Pyramid, Vampiric Tutor, finally. This is a pretty good card. Uh, $45 in non-foil. I will take that. Best, best card in two boxes so far. And we got two packs left. So if we do get a Mana Drain or a Jeweled Lotus, that becomes the top card in the box. But Vampiric Tutor is pretty good. Let's do Tutor for stuff. Okay, Furnace Celebration is the first uncommon. Warden of Evos Isle. Demonic Lore and Spectator Seating. We got one of those in the last box. It's a couple bucks. Queen and Aquas Form. All right, last pack. Thanks for watching, everybody. We did pull a Vampiric Tutor. Happy with that. Did we get 135 on the box? Probably not. But do we still love Commander Legends? Yes, we do. All right, Meteoric Mace, Vow of Flight, The Revenant, we like the rabbit, and ooh, Apex Devastator, $21 card. It is playable in Commander. Not a bad mythic. Not the Jeweled Lotus, but it's uh, okay. Singer, Dark Baron, and Filigree Familiar Common. Quick peek at the top hits. We got the Apex Devastator at $20. We have Vampiric Tutor at $45, so that's $65. Opposition Agent at $20, so that's $85. And I think we had a Jessica's Will foil. Yes, Jessica's Will foil at $30. So we hit about $100 on this box, plus all the other uh, bulk commons probably got $35 so we probably broke even on this box uh, did a lot better than the last box appreciate everybody for watching this video stay tuned subscribe to the channel if you want more magic the gathering box opening content in your feed every day happy to provide that for you and make some space on the shelves for the new magic product coming out stay tuned for fallout collector boxes cross your fingers hope we get that um, you'll find out if we make a video thanks everyone see you in the next one